move to uh, the general manager's report, Mr. General Manager. Um, thank you, Mr. President, board members. Uh, uh, just uh, several things. First, uh, the diesel prices. Uh, uh, our current price is two dollars and seventy-two cents per gallon. We are averaging two eighty-five uh, per gallon per, uh, for the year, uh, and so holding uh, fairly steady. Though obviously, all of us watch the, the price per barrel and the demand uh, out of both China and India. Uh, oftentimes, being uh, uh, credited with what is uh, is going to be the most long-term effects on. Uh, on that price of fuel, and then obviously, depending upon what the weather conditions are, hurricanes in the in the Gulf Coast uh, can affect more short-term supply issues. Um, ridership: uh, We were uh, about 8.8 million trips were taken on buses uh, during the past month. Uh, 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 that's about a 4.4 percent uh, decline over the previous year's figure. Uh, also, remember we are coming in, in that previous year, that is October. Uh, just coming out of that very high price of uh, gasoline and obviously just going into uh, the, the recession. Um, uh, obviously the one thing that has been different from last year is the green line is up and operating uh, and overall we have seen a 9% increase in total uh, max weekly trips because of the new line. Um, the ongoing recession of double digit uh, uh, unemployment is still affecting I think as you know we, we always see the uh, our ridership numbers track the economy. They generally lag by about six months, but obviously the ongoing nature of the uh, unemployment picture, the 54,000 jobs, fewer jobs that uh, Beth just referenced, uh, uh, is, uh, is key. Uh, cell phones, a lot of attention has been uh, uh, lavished on uh, cell phone use, uh, particularly with the new law coming in, uh, in place. The new law, let me be um, explicit, uh, uh, the new law um, requires that there be no handheld uh, devices being used uh, uh, by individuals um, when they are driving come January 1st. Uh, the the uh, statute actually uh, indicates that for uh, uh, individuals who are in a part of their employment uh, uh, are needing to be able to have communication, direct communication, um, there is an exemption. That would be the FedEx driver, the uh, others, uh, but also a bus for rail operators who are on official business with dispatch. That's not on a cell phone, but in a uh, in the rail setting for us, Nextel uh, communication or uh, the uh, uh, communication um, on the handheld device that's in the buses actually communicating with uh, around an emergency situation or other um, element. Um, that's something that the operators are uh, uh, are in fact expected to be able to provide as part of their service. But those, excuse me, Fred, but those devices are not cell phones. They uh, the Nextel is cell phone like, but it's really it looks more almost like the older walkie-talkie style. It's much a larger, bulkier uh, element, uh, but it is to be used only again in communication with dispatch. Now our policy has been, and it has been for a very long time, very clear on this on the issue of cell phone use, and that is that cell phone use is prohibited um, for our rail operators, it is prohibited for our bus operators, it is prohibited uh, um, for any TriMet employee, even if they are in fact in their private vehicle but conducting TriMet business on a cell phone, the prohibition applies, they cannot do so. Uh, if it's in a private vehicle uh, or in a, a TriMet, what we call a non-revenue vehicle, they are required to pull to the side of the road uh, to be able to answer that telephone or to be able to communicate. Um, and certainly, by the way, when I say communicate, this includes texting. This is not just uh, um, issues around uh, the uh, verbal use of that telephone. Um, likewise, for operators, bus operators, um, they are not able to have, uh, they are obviously not able to use it when they are, in fact, uh, uh, in, uh, in revenue service. But they are, in fact, required to be able to have it a way um, not to be able to be uh, uh, disturbed by it. That would Rain. Uh, uh, if it were in a backpack, they are able to use it only at layovers. So, you know, if they are at a stop uh, uh, servicing uh, uh, passengers, it is prohibited. If they are at a railroad crossing and there is a five-minute uh, train going by, they are prohibited from using it. They can't otherwise use it. Um, and we expect if there is, as we would say, for an emergency bathroom break, if there is somehow a family emergency of some sort, then they must do the same thing that they would do for that bathroom break. That is, they can pull over, announce to their passenger, and then uh, make that call. But it has 
has to be, you know, the, the, the family emergency, the child is taken to the, to the hospital or something else, but they are not allowed to be able to communicate uh, other than at the time of layover. So, um, I, uh, uh, we have, uh, uh, this is, as I said, long-term standing policy. There is no question about that. Uh, but uh, uh, as I think we have all become aware, I certainly I have as I look at the uh, data that are uh, available that uh, handheld devices, uh, uh, at least as the research indicates, uh, has roughly the distraction level that a 0.08 alcohol level does. And I think all of us realize uh, how uh, that potentially dangerous that can be. And uh, as I watch traffic go by, uh, auto traffic go by and see well over half of the people on a cell phone, it doesn't give me a lot of comfort. Uh, uh, but I want you to know our policy is very clear. What we are also doing, however, is discussing with the, uh, the union, uh, as we are required to under contract, um, how we are going to implement that, uh, that is the practice of that. Our policy is clear. That's not a debate. That's not an issue for negotiation. But the practice of exactly how we're going to do that and how we're going to hold people accountable is something that we are discussing with the union. And as said, that on January 1st, the effective date of the statute, even though our policies are still have been in place for some time, it uh, will in fact uh, be a time where uh, we expect that the uh, that the consequences of violating that policy um, are going to be much clearer and. Uh, uh, and people will be held much more accountable. So, be happy to answer any questions about that before I move to the next issue. If there is. well, I don't know if it's related, but maybe it is, but I just noticed the bus vehicle accident report is up 88.43% of bus accidents. What do we got? Bus miles, vehicle accidents. I'm not sure what Increase of 88.43%. Yeah, I, can, I can look into that and let you know. Yeah. That seems a little yeah, surprising. Well, I'm just right. not sure that's an accurate report. Yeah, it showed double the. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of alarming to look at. Yeah. Steve, you'll I will. take a look at it. We'll get back to you. My guess is there's something that's not in that statistic that isn't being discussed. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. 